one out of nine women will get breast cancer in their lives, but it is almost unheard of for a child to develop that disease. That's what happened to a 10-year-old girl in California. Early show national correspondent Hattie Kaufman has her story. Whether playing softball or just goofing around, Hannah looks like any other 10-year-old. But she's fighting a disease that doesn't kid around, breast cancer. I was just, how could this happen? I'm, I'm 10, so I was really shocked. After she felt a lump, doctors did an ultrasound and discovered a tumor spanning nearly two inches. Hannah has secretory carcinoma, a slow-growing cancer. The mass consists of both the solid component and also the fluid component. Both Hannah and her mom were shocked. Ten-year-olds don't get breast cancer. I told my mom, I just want to be a normal kid. I want to go back to school, play sports, hang out with my friends. So, Hannah's had a mastectomy. Now her doctor says the cancer spread to a lymph node, meaning more surgery or chemotherapy. But radiation is out. If you radiate that developing breast, it will never grow, develop fully because it becomes atrophic. Hannah's family has launched a website. Her teammates are flying pink balloons. Even a tattoo parlor has launched a fundraiser. All for the girl whose diagnosis stunned the specialists. I don't think there is anything on this earth will beat that little girl down. She just is so upbeat. And I can do it. I'll figure it out and never have it down moment. Hannah is so upbeat, she says God chose her for this experience because he knows she's strong. I'm going to set an example for all the kids in the world that if there's something wrong with your body, you tell your parents. Hattie Kaufman, CBS News, Los Angeles. Joining us now is Hannah's mom, Carrie Arslam. Carrie, good morning to you. Good morning. Uh, just that last sentence in Hattie's piece about your daughter. What an extraordinary young woman to be able to say, God chose me for this because I'm strong enough to do it. How is Hannah doing? She's doing good. She's, um, she's hanging in there. She's having, she's having a hard time right now. She's sick with the stomach flu, but she, she's being tough. She's being tough for us. She's being tough for our family. She's what's keeping us strong at this point. She's keeping you strong. Yes, she is. Yeah. What was your reaction when all of this began to unfold? Heartbreaking. Hurtful. I feel like she's been robbed of her childhood. And for something like this, it is so rare and so unusual. You, you had to be shocked. Absolutely. It's beyond shocking, you know. She's 10. Yeah. She has breast cancer. It's unheard of. You must have learned so much then on this learning curve to have your daughter diagnosed with this and then in treatment. If there's a message you can f convey to other parents about their children and their children's health, what would it be? If you're, you need to talk to your kids, if your kids feel something that's unusual about their body, they need to talk to you. Hannah knew about her lump. She didn't talk to me, knowing that it was just part of growing up. She didn't think it was a big deal. And she had that lump for several months before I found out about it. I found out about it by accident, and it became a huge problem. Wow. So when kids find something that's wrong with their bodies, they need to talk to their parents. Wow. There is a, a magnificent website that I want to uh, bring people's attention to. It's called OurLittleSweetPea.com. If you'd like to know more about Hannah, uh, go to that website. And there are great pictures of her, and it just shows how the whole community is getting involved in her care. And there are great, great emails from people all over the world wishing her well. Uh, Carrie, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us this morning. Do take care. Thank you. All right, be well. I'm going to turn now to Dr. Jennifer Ashton. This is so rare, rare beyond rare beyond rare. But to hear what Carrie said, here's this little girl. She feels that there's something wrong. She doesn't, it, it's, it's not unusual for a child not to share that right. kind of information. Right. And I think the unbelievable point here that really has to be emphasized, Harry, is that when girls are going through puberty and their bodies are changing, there are a lot of changes, both physical and social and emotional, and it's, it can be an awkward time. 
trust your instincts, but we have to teach our daughters to trust their bodies, to not be afraid to bring something to our parents' attention, to their mm -hmm. doctor's attention. And then likewise for the parent to say to the doctor, this is not right, please investigate it. The, the statistics are only there in medicine to guide us. There are always exceptions, mm -hmm. and this is an incredibly rare case, yeah. but obviously it's existing. Yeah, very serious stuff. Dr. Ashton, thanks. Mm -hmm.